Yeah. You're gonna stand there, are you? Yeah. You nutter. How much does it cost to live in Australia versus the UK? G'day guys, my name's Ross and this is my wife Sam and we moved to Australia from the UK during a global Hello, pandemic. Mommy. And that's your daughter. Yeah, and that, that's my daughter. A few months ago, I shared with you how much our five bedroom home in Brisbane costs to run. And a few of you have requested that we compare it to our old life in the UK. Is she doing like gymnastics behind there? Yeah. Oh my God. So in this video, we're gonna share with you how much our house costs now versus how much our house cost in the UK just before we moved. And to spice things up because Sam has absolutely no idea of how much things cost, she's gonna guess whether it's more expensive or less expensive. And hopefully Aurora might sit down and let us do this in a little bit of peace. So first things first, ma'am, we're gonna look at the essentials and how much does electricity and gas and all of our energy cost here? Mommy, I want to poo. Oh, great. <laughs> Ow. Okay, let's go do poo then. I want to sit down next to mummy. Right, poo averted. Are you going to come in the middle more? Because oh, I can't fit in. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't want to okay, sit so down, Dad. Okay, all right, cheers for that. Okay, so energy. Do we pay more in Australia or more in the UK? I say more in the UK. So in Australia, currently, we pay around $179 Dad. a month. Dad. All right. So in Australia, we pay around $179 a month for our electricity. We don't have any gas here, everything's electrical. And in the UK, our prices vary depending on whether it was summer and winter because, you know, mm. heating. We paid on average around $200 a month on our electricity and our gas bills. So you're right, mm -hmm. we paid around about 11% more in the UK compared to Australia. I remember because you kept saying, put the jumper on, put the candles on, I'm not turning the heating on. Yeah, well, I kind of am a little bit sometimes like that with And the... you like that now with the aircon? Yeah, but during the day, it's fine now because we've got solar and we haven't really seen how much exactly our solar costs have been reduced considering now everything is electrical and we have solar, like just run it during the day. But I guess since the prices in the UK have skyrocketed and ours was at the end of 2020, I think those costs of energy in the UK would be so much more expensive. Yeah. Okay, water in comparison to Australia versus the UK. Where did we pay more? Mm, I think more here. Why would you say that? I don't know. <laughs> just literally just, just guessing. Just having a guess. So here we're on a metre, so we do actually get everything checked. And we paid around about on average $123 a month for our water. In the UK, it was ever so slightly different because we had lived in an old house and nothing was metered. So we just paid a flat rate. And our equivalent over there was around about $57 a month in water. Cha-ching. Yeah, well done. Right. Well, it's a big difference really. We... All right, chill out. It's a big difference really because we paid around 70% less in the UK for our water. Now rates or council tax. Mommy. Where do we pay more council tax? The UK what, or what, Australia? What's me, mommy? I'm going to go to UK. Daddy. We have to watch her. What's me, daddy? Okay, okay watch you. Just jump on the sofa. Good jumping. Then, good jumping. So here in Australia, we pay around $166 a month for our rates, which includes all of our council stuff, bins, fire, police. Not we even really use the fire and the police, but we might need to one day. <laughs> and in the UK, the equivalent was around about $196 a month. So we are currently cheaper in Australia, but we did last month have a new valuation of our land, which is what the council rates are based on. So that's probably going to go up. Thanks for that. What's this, mommy? Are you going to come back in? No. No. Okay, big one now, home insurance. But remember that we have a bigger house here with kind of more stuff in it. Which one do we pay more, in Australia or the UK? So are you telling me the answer? Hint, hint, we've got a bigger house. Maybe I shouldn't do that then. I'm just trying to help her. <laughs> I probably would have said here anyway because... Yep, yeah, okay, but I suppose the difference is how much more. So in Australia, we pay just over $61 a month for our home insurance, which I don't think is I don't think not a bad, bad rate. But in England, we only paid about $238 for the whole year. Oh, now, wow. I don't know whether I was undervaluing the house or how much crap we had in it, but I suppose for the last few years of living there, we didn't really buy anything nice because we knew we were going to move. Yeah. That is around about 71% difference in the total cost of wow. all of the home insurance. So that's a big difference. But then I suppose we do have more hazards here. So the next one is mortgage. How much did we pay for the home loan kind of stuff in Australia versus the UK? Which one's more expensive? UK. <laughs> so to put it in a bit of context, our home here is a five bedroom detached house in Brisbane with a pool. Uh, and in the UK, we only lived in a three bedroom semi detached, obviously without a pool on a considerably smaller land. It's a cute little house. It was a nice kind of 
not first home, but first house for us, because we used to live in the flat. I loved that too. Yeah, you loved the flat. I did love the flat. Can you imagine living in that flat now with that thing? Oh God, no. So let's just run. This, was, this would have been bigger than the whole of our living room in the flat. <laughs> so considering we had around about the same percentage deposit as we did for here, as we did in the UK, here we pay around about $1,600 a month for our home loan. And in the UK, considering we didn't sell that for much less than what we bought this for, our home loan in the UK was around about $1,300 a month. So in total, that's an 18% difference in the UK is cheaper. So other kind of running costs that we had for this place that are the same as last time, we spend around the same amount on gardening. We probably spend around the same amount on the pool chemicals. Like we had just a lazy spa in the carport. Which was so glamorous. Thanks for jumping up and down. No, she hasn't done a poo. No. Well, you haven't done one. Well, I haven't done a poo. Have you done a pop? No. no. Have you done a pop? No. no. <laughs> the only cost that we have here that's different to the UK is obviously our pests and termite inspection stuff. So that's around about 480 bucks a year that's on top of what we had to pay. So in total, you probably already know the answer to this. Do we spend more on our essentials in Australia than we did in the UK? Here. Yeah. So our total outgoings per month on essentials here was around about $2,200 and in the UK it was just over $1,800 a month. So, so far the UK is around about 19% cheaper. But then these costs are based on 2020 rather than, you know, 2021, 2022. Okay, extras. Now our internet and our TV kind of package in comparison to we had Sky in the UK. Is it more expensive here or less expensive? Less expensive. Less expensive. Well, you kind of moan that you preferred Sky, even though we only had Sky. the basic Sky package. Samantha's just a lover for UK TV. Yeah, and I don't like the telly here. You pay for what you get, I think. So here for our internet and for our TV package that we get, we pay around $90 a month. And in the UK, for pretty much the same internet package uh, and just having the Sky basic package, it was $132 a month. Okay, poo attempt number two done. <laughs> Always a joy when you're potty training a toddler. <laughs> okay, so our phones. Now, we're not really into like the super fanciest phones and to be honest, most of the time we just get a SIM only deal. But do we pay more for our phones in Australia or in the UK? I think more here. So both of our deals are kind of comparable to what we had in the UK, so I suppose that's pretty fair. I think yours is about 25 bucks a month and mine's closer to $30 a month. But for our SIM only deals in the UK, we pay probably about the equivalent of just under $18. But to be honest, I got a new phone for my mum the other day just to use while she's here. And I think I'm gonna swap to about $20 Woolies one. And we can also save around about 10% of our monthly shop. You get it like once a month on their deal. Okay. So that should save even more. So I think if you hunt around, you can get a better deal. I just think I'm still on the same one that we got in hotel quarantine and <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. So I got a bit okay. shafted there. <laughs> okay, wonderful. She's done a poo. She's done it now. Done in it, her nappy. finally. She's going to keep telling us Two about it. Two attempts on the toilet? No. no. Put a nappy on. Put a nappy on her. Dump away. <laughs> Back to the drawing board on the potty training, I think. Okay, Netflix. We have premium here. We had standard just in the UK, but oh, which okay. one is more expensive? Mm. Go UK. So Netflix in the Australia costs us just under 20 bucks a month uh, and there's always this debate isn't there about different Netflix prices around the world and how much more expensive they are or cheaper depending on where you are and in the UK for our standard one it was only $17 just about $17.50. What has she got? <laughs> She's just got playing all the toys. Right big one now Disney Plus the thing yes. that Aurora constantly wants to watch Toy Story on. Yes constantly. More expensive in Australia or more expensive in the UK? More expensive here. Okay, now I know that when we first got Disney Plus in the UK, it just came out and it was on one of the cheapest ones. So our Disney Plus in the UK costs us around 14 bucks. But here, Disney Plus seems to be cheaper and it's just oh. under $12. So a winner for Australia there. <laughs> She's literally she's, just round the corner she's doing it on with purpose. all of her noisy toys. <laughs> okay, different one. Amazon Prime. Is it more expensive in Australia or more expensive in the UK? I have no idea. I don't really use Amazon Prime. Well, like, you have literally been guessing all of these. Ones, okay. Yeah. Well, no, but I use most of them. I don't I have a clue about Amazon Prime. Um, here. Here? Yeah. Okay, so in the UK we did benefit, I, I thought Amazon was pretty good. Mm. Like, both in the free deliveries, the next day deliveries doing the alphabet, <laughs> learning the alphabet. Here, I don't think it's as good. Uh, you don't really get next day deliveries. You might get the day after the, the next deliveries and you definitely don't get like that same day deliveries. Mm. 
You get all the same Amazon Prime TV things. <laughs> Such a wind up that kid. Mm. Show us your toy. Show everyone your Come here and show light. us your toy. Right, this is the noisy light. Bye bye. We're gonna take the batteries out. So Australia, Amazon Prime costs us around six ninety nine a month. And in England, we had to pay like a seventy nine pound a year, which means in Australia we pay around thirty nine percent less for Amazon. But it is kind of a lesser service. I don't think having less of an Amazon is going to make us want to go back to England though. Mm -hmm. So in total, then you've pretty much figured it out. Our life in the UK was a bit cheaper than in Australia. So in total, with all of the sums, we paid around eighteen percent less in the UK than our new life in Australia. But I suppose if you take into consideration things like inflation and just the cost of living in two years difference then I suppose it kind of makes sense but the big question is because everyone kind of knows that Australia is more expensive Jesus how much more are our wages in Australia in comparison to the UK? So it's all fair and well saying that Australia is about 18% more expensive than the UK, but like for like, because I now have this pretty much the same job as I did in England, based upon my new wages, I earn around about 44% more than I did in the UK. Wow. I'd probably say that our purchasing power, how much money we have to spend after all of those bills and stuff have been taken into consideration, is probably more. So our life over here, financially, we're better off, even though this thing is trying our patience all of the time. If you found that video interesting, make sure to give us a like. If you want to see the rest of our life in Australia and how much other things cost and what our lifestyle is like, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see the original video about how much everything costs in more detail, then have a look at that one there. See you later.